So welcome, welcome to the EACC Friday webinar. And today we have Montana State University, USA. So it's a public university and we have Simon Anthony to present us. So Simon, welcome to the platform of EACC and to present Montana State University to us. Thank you, thank you, sir. And thanks everyone for joining us this evening. Okay. Uh, Simon, the platform is all for you and please share your presentation and let us know more about your university. Okay, so I'll be sharing the PPT first and then later on, uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'll answer this. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. So I've just started sharing the screen. I hope it's visible. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. So Montana State University uh, is in Billings uh, and it is a national university. Uh, I'll just show you a bit more uh, about the location as well, right? Uh, now, this is showing the eligibility. Uh, so we don't need uh, SAT or GMAT, GRE. It is not required. Uh, we have associate programs uh, that is uh, similar to our two-year diploma program here we have bachelor's program which is four years programs right and we have the master's program so master's program will be two years right and uh, we'll accept all the major english tests as well uh, so i i elts tofel and we are accepting duolingo as well right uh, now this is the location i'll just show you the location first right so this is the map of us and we are within the state of montana right so we are in billings and it is the largest city in the state of montana and montana is the fourth largest state in us right so it is a very much uh, welcoming community and uh, the main industry here is tourism right so uh, there are two major national parks. So Yellowstone and Glacier National Park, uh, they are both in our state. So tourism is one of the major industry. There is also a lot of other automobile, uh, energy related industries, finance is a big uh, sector, right? Uh, these are all the major sectors we have. A lot of business activities as well, right? So it is one of the most, uh, having one of the most lowest uh, cost of living in US, right? Uh, the reason is that uh, there is no sales tax, right? So uh, it is one of the few places in US where they don't have sales tax. Uh, so uh, I think there is Las Vegas, Nevada as well. Uh, so the cost of living is quite low. We are near, Washington, the state of Washington uh, and Oregon. Uh, we are bordering Canada as well, right? So there is a lot of natural beauty. Uh, there is a lot of uh, outdoor activities as well. The students can take part in. And we have all the major four seasons. So we do have uh, snow and winter for about three to four months, but otherwise it is uh, normal temperature. So unemployment is very low here, uh, only 2%. And it is a very safe city, right? So uh, as per Forbes ma magazine, it is ranked uh, number eight to be one of the most secure and uh, most livable cities in US. Right? So uh, here are the things which we are offering. We offer world-class teaching. Uh, all our programs are highly accredited. Uh, we have more than 100 degree options, right? And a lot of employment opportunities as well. Uh, we even have two uh, job fairs in a year. So we have around 20 companies coming in and uh, conducting competitions and things like that, right? So even that prospect is there, right? Now, these are the major programs we have, right? So if you are looking at the programs, we have uh, business-related programs, right? So we have uh, BBA, 
and uh, we have BBA with administration. We have BBA with information system, right? Uh, we have all the health and allied science related programs like uh, public health, athletic training. We have all these programs. Uh, we have pure science programs like biology, uh, chemistry, right? Uh, public relations is there, right? And we have uh, associate programs or diploma programs, which are two year programs. And those programs we have mainly in computer systems, uh, cybersecurity, networking, human resources. These are the main programs. So at the end, I'll be showing a list of programs as well, which will go more in detail, right? Now uh, I'll tell you a bit about the application procedure, right? So uh, the undergraduate program, uh, basically we need uh, around 2.5 GPA, right? So that is around 60% above uh, is what is required in your 12th and uh, IL score of 5.5, right? And uh, there is an application fee of $35. And once you've applied, it generally takes around uh, three days to maximum one week uh, to get the offer letter. Okay. So once we get the offer letter, we then have a form to fill and a bank statement to show. And then within one week, we'll get the I-20. Right. So we've already started for the next uh, spring intake, which is the January intake. Now, uh, if you're looking at the graduate or the master's program, uh, it is $45 for the application fee, right? Uh, we need three GPA, right? So that is uh, around 75%. Uh, we need uh, references uh, and resume as well, right? So we'll need a letter of recommendation, right? Uh, two numbers uh, and uh, usually the offer letter will get it within three weeks time. Um, maximum they are saying four weeks, but usually we get it before three weeks. Right? And I-20 also uh, we get within one week's time. Right? Uh, so this is the major application procedure. Uh, right. So we have a lot of uh, clubs, right? We have more than 50 clubs, right? And uh, you can have a lot of clubs like uh, STEM, uh, Maths Club, all these clubs are there, right? So a lot of uh, extracurricular activities are there, right? Uh, now these also give some in-campus jobs as well because these uh, organizing these clubs and all they require uh, students and there are part-time options as well in the campus right now there is the city center is also very nearby so the city center is less than one kilometer away so there also our students find part-time jobs right uh, if you're looking at the location we are very close to the city and uh, even the airport is very nearby right so airport is only 10 minutes away so a lot of activities the student can engage in. Uh, the campus in total is uh, more than 116 acres, right? So a uh, huge area and a uh, lot of facilities we have, uh, like the library, uh, cafes, um, and all the areas, right? So a lot of uh, area for students to explore, right? Now, this is the tuition fee, right? So tuition fee, uh, we are showing for one year, right? This is a one year amount we are showing. Now uh, for associate program, it is uh, $9,000 tuition fee. Uh, bachelor's program, uh, it is $19,550, right? And master's or graduate program, it is uh, $17,450, right? Now on uh, top of this uh, tuition fee, uh, there is also scholarship options. Right, so for associate program and bachelor's program, uh, we have scholarship. It is based on your academics, right? So starting from uh, $2,000 all the way up to $10,000, you'll get scholarship uh, based on marks, right? So 
uh, student with 65% uh, and above will be getting $2,000, right? And students with uh, nearly 85% above, they'll be getting up to $10,000. So depending on your marks, uh, you'll be receiving scholarship, right? So this amount you'll get every year, right? So uh, uh, there are some very good scholarship options. And even in the associate uh, program, they, they do scholarship starting from $500 to $2,500, right? So I hope this is clear. Uh, you can even take a screenshot of this uh, if you want to take a screenshot, right? So this is the scholarship slide, right? And the slide before is showing you the fee. Right. Now, uh, this is to show you how the uh, associate programs generally work, right? So in US, uh, we have this system of associate program where generally a student, they do four years bachelor's together. Instead, uh, the student here will be doing two year associate degree, right? Uh, once he completes a two year, uh, he can work full time for one year, right? And during that time, he'll be applying to uh, uh, other universities uh, or colleges to complete his remaining two years, right? So uh, after that one year, he'll then go and do the final two years in another university, right? And after that, finally, he'll be getting the four year uh, associate, four year degree from that university, right? Now, why would someone you do an associate program, right? Uh, as compared to uh, doing a, a single stretch four year program. Uh, the main reason one is cost, right? So uh, as you saw before, uh, associate programs, uh, the costs are quite low, right? So uh, it is less than half of uh, uh, the fee for the bachelor's. So the first two years, the student will save quite a bit of money and uh, he'll get to work as well, right? So this is something common which uh, the domestic students in US do as well, right? And we have students from India also who opt for this uh, pathway, right? So this is also a good option for students, right? Um, now uh, I'll show you uh, the main program list as well, right? So uh, I'll just show you that slide. It is actually a different slide. Just one second. Right, so I've just started sharing the screen. Right, so now we can see the major programs. Uh, the bachelor's program, we have programs in arts. Uh, we have programs in accounting, right? Uh, we have a BBA related program, general business management. Uh, we have additional option of marketing, right? Uh, in BBA, we also have information systems, right? Then we have the pure science programs like uh, bachelors in chemistry. Uh, we have programs uh, related to environment studies. Uh, we have programs in uh, health administration and uh, health athletic related programs, right? Uh, and we have uh, associate programs. So associate programs uh, we have in computer science, we have in construction management, criminal justice is there, right? Uh, even business administration is also there. So these are the major programs, right? Now I'll tell you about the uh, master's programs, right? So master's programs, uh, we have mainly uh, master of science in athletic training, right? So athletic training is there. Uh, we have uh, public relations, right? Master of science in public relations, uh, master of science in psychology, right? Uh, there is a master of science in clinical rehabilitation and mental health counseling, right? So in, uh, we also have MED related programs, uh, master of education related programs, right? 
So uh, we have these uh, around six, seven programs in master's program. And uh, they are very much relevant programs, uh, especially health related programs. And we have quite a few uh, options for the bachelor's programs, right? Uh, now, uh, these are the main programs we have and uh, it is all standard requirements we have. Uh, so for a bachelor's, uh, we need around 60% uh, uh, marks. For your associate program, we need 55% and Right. And for your master's program also, we need, uh, depending on the program, starting from 60%, right? Uh, so is it all clear? I've covered the PPT part. Now, if you have any doubts, you can definitely ask me now. 